hi guys you're welcome back to the channel today so today we are going to be making this um, simple shift dress with neckline split okay it's a very simple and easy dress to make so if this look like something you like to know how to do kindly watch this video to the end give it a thumbs up like share and drop your comment thank you so for this project you'll be needing about two yards of fabric but if you are working with a plus size you might need up to two and a half or three yards of fabric so after that now you'll be folding your fabric into four you fold into two then you fold it to two again you fold in a way that it would accommodate your measurements plus excess okay now we'll start it with the shoulder measurements then with the shoulder we'll be measuring the sleeve length as well so divide your shoulder by two and mark then you measure your preferred length for the sleeve if you have much fabric you can have more than six inches but i'm using all this fabric so i'll be using six inches so from that six inches you come down by 1.5 inches for your shoulder slope then on the neckline you are going to be drafting the back neckline first so we'll be drafting the basic neckline three inches by 1.5 inches to create a round neckline so we'll be drafting this together remember we are folding our fabric into four for both um, front and back okay so then after that now you connect from the neck width to the shoulder slope like so okay so after this now you take your vertical measurement so from this shoulder line you take your bust point measurement so for this i'm using 10 inches after connecting sorry after marking you connect the points after that now you take from your shoulder again to your waist measurement so for this i'll be using 15 inches for the waist measurement from 0 0.5 seam allowance that i'll be using on the shoulder okay after that you connect the points together with a straight line like so then you take your hip line measurement as well from the shoulder so for the hip line measurement you can simply come down by seven inches from your waist or eight inches for plus size then you can as well go on and measure yourself or your clients to know where exactly their hip line measurement falls but for this i'll be using 22 inches okay so then the last thing you want to take is your dress length okay or your gown length your preferred length plus your seam allowance at the hem for folding the hem rather then you connect like so so after which you have done this now the next thing we want to do is to take our circumference measurements so from here to here is where your ham hole will be like the wideness of your sleeve so on the bust point line now you divide your bust by four and you had extra three inches you can add four inches actually this depends on you but i'll be using three inches for this so on the waist you will divide your waist by four again and had another three inches for the his it's going to be a free blouse There's, there will be no zip so you need to add enough his on the hip line divide your hip by four and you had three inches allowance okay so whatever you have on your hip measure it and take the same thing on the hemline okay so after doing all this you just connect like i'm doing connect from the hip line downward and from the bust point sorry from the waist you connect but on this bust point line you are going to connect back to the sleeve area with a curve just like i'm doing do you understand let's assume i have much more fabric it's possible i have a longer you know longer sleeve length okay so from here downward i have about eight inches so that is my ham hole wideness so if you feel you want the sleeve to be longer you can simply cut another fabric and join to the m line to make it longer okay and then another thing you want to do is that you can get a strip of fabric okay 
but before that let me quickly cut this before i explain so we are going to be cutting the neckline area and the shoulder then the side we are going to be cutting together so that both front and back we have the same shoulder and the side measurements because for the front we are going to be cutting out another neckline but let's cut out this side first so you cut according to the shape you already mark okay just watch closely the way i'm cutting so that will serve as your ham hole so you need to have a curvy shape around that part but make sure it's not too curvy okay so you don't have issues around that area okay so now what we are going to do now is to separate the front and the back but before that i would like to trim off these parts i think i have excess okay so that's that about that so on this arm all liner you can get a strip of fabric to turn inside out the hem line because there's no much fabric and i don't want to reduce the length or you can simply use a plain fabric to turn it inside out so as to form like a design to the sleeve area okay so now i will separate the back from the front and lay the front pattern flat like so because this time around i want to cut the normal neckline for the front okay the reason why we cut it together like that is because you want an accurate shoulder slope so now remember we have 1.5 inches initial cutting so you're just going to extend it down to 3 inches or 3.5 inches okay after that now you connect that part to the neck width like this to form the round arm you can use your free hand and at the same time you can place your curve rule on it and cut it out so that is the normal neckline so from there you mark down to about 3.5 or 4 inches depending on how low you want the the slit to be okay so that is where your slit is going to get to i'll just trim this off now and we have our normal basic neckline remember this is just a simple dress you can make it lower than that for three inches it's just a normal measurement now we're going to be cutting a facing for this neckline and to cut a facing you get a fabric another fabric you are going to be folding it into two so after that you place it underneath like i'm doing but make sure that the length of the fabric is longer than the length of the slits you marked earlier I hope you understand what I mean. So this will enable you get um easy turning around that part. So this snake line area, you will cut it out like so, then you open up the slits. Or you might decide not to open it up yet. Maybe when you are working on your sewing machine, just make sure that the fabric underneath is longer. Is long enough more than the slit itself so that by the time you are stitching or when you are sewing it you don't have issues joining fabric again or maybe you don't have enough so after that now you can now trim the facing to your preferred shape okay you can leave it like that as square and you can also give it a curvy shape like this so after which you have cut it you can now open it up or you just leave it till you start sewing on the sewing machine so now i'll cut the same facing for the back as well but this time around there will be no slits at the back remember you can also have a slit at the back depending on you how you want it you're just going to be fixing a button or even a zipper is possible but this particular method, we just want to have a slit at the front. Okay, so you place the fabric underneath as well. I don't have much, I don't have much fabric here, so I'm just trying to manage 
what I have left. So you trim the shoulder slope and the neckline as well. And after which you have trimmed it off like so, you will shape the facing itself. Okay, so this depends on you. You can either make it a square or a round or even V shape. It depends on you. It's just there to represent a bias tape or a lining. So just to help to secure your neckline. Facing actually make it easier when making clothes like this. So you're going to press it on the neckline and stitch. Then you turn it inside out. So place right side facing right side. So the next, let me show you the front part. So you're going to be using this facing, the right side of the facing to face the right side of the fabric. Okay. After running a stitch on the neckline, you run on the slit area too. Then you turn it inside out. So guys, I already joined it together and this is what I have. What I'm trying to do now is to notch all the neckline area. After notching, you top stitch and you give it a good press so that the neckline area can lay flat. Do you understand? So that is just what I'm basically doing here. So after then, you will turn it inside out. The next thing I will do after this turning is that I'll put the two shoulders together. I'll run a stitch on it. So this facing, you can simply use your aiming gun to secure it or you just fold it this way and run a stitch on it all through. So as for the back part too, you are going to notch the joining you have. Make sure you do not notch into your seam after notching you top stitch and give it a good press by doing this it will enable your facing to lay flat in case you are using another color to face your neckline so guys this is what we have at the end i already joined the sugar together and this is what it looks like okay so after pressing it like so, you are going to be joining the sides together. But before you join the side together, you are going to be turning it inside out. That is, you will be turning the cloth to the wrong side. So, so as for the sleeve M area, you are going to fold it inside like this. If you have enough fabric, or you just get another fabric like I'm going to do. To turn it inside out from the wrong side to the right side if you are using a plain color just to decorate that area just to add a little bit of design or you just turn it inside like so you don't want any design so I'll just do that now and come back to show us how it looks like but after doing that I'm going to join the sides together but I'll be turning the fabric inside like to the wrong side then I'll be joining it with about 0 0.5 to 0 0.75 inches okay not up to one inch actually it's going to be so if you want a longer sleeve here you can simply add another fabric to make it wider so i'll just roll this now and come back to show us how it looks like so guys this is what we have at the end okay as you can see the sleeve is not too long and this is the slit area not too deep okay and this is what we have so guys i will join a pocket to this i'm going to add a pocket to this and i'm going to show us in my next video very soon i'm going to make a short video on that i'm sorry i didn't put that aside so guys thank you very much for watching this video it's quite simple easy and fast i know so guys like this video share comment subscribe to the channel do not forget to do so. Tell your friends about this channel by sharing it and drop your comment. We have a video request or anything you want us to do on the channel. So thank you very much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.